What's up everyone? Now that we have helped you navigate your account settings, in this next video, I am joined by Dale, who will guide you through setting up your integrations. Let's jump in. Hi, this is Dale from Alloware. In this short video, we will cover the basic functionalities and configuration on how you can integrate Alloware to your CRM. So from here, go to the integration tabs. And as you can see, we have a HubSpot, Pipedrive, Zoho, and Guesty. Take note that all of our integration functionalities works just the same with all of the CRMs. So let us use HubSpot as a main example. So let us go to settings. From here, it will ask you to log in using your HubSpot or CRM credentials. Just to make sure that the status is connected and you are good to go to sync contacts. To sync contacts, click pull contacts and push contacts. To connect your HubSpot users to Allure users, all you have to do is to click sync users. And after that, we can pull lead statuses and pull call outcomes. Lead statuses represent contact dispositions in Allure, while call outcomes represent a call disposition in Allure. For here, just make sure that log text messages as SMS activity is enabled. And we also have custom field mapping. You can enable this to edit the fields, and you can also add more fields if you wish to. And the last important thing, filters. Filters are case-to-case -case basis. If you wish to fully sync all of the communication logs from Allware to HubSpot, then all you have to do is to disable all of these event triggers. As you can see, it says don't update contact owners, don't update contact lead status. And you can only select a few event triggers to send from Allware to HubSpot by disabling and enabling these event triggers. And of course, don't forget to hit save and you're good to go.